Okay, now we are going to start the project. You can drag that in any folder. I'm going to create here. So first, I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to name to do app. And I'm going to open my terminal here. So first, we have the first step. We have to create a virtual environment. So to create a virtual environment, you do Python M V N V, and you give the name of the environment. I will just name it N V. And as you can see, we create here environment. So now we need to activate it. So to activate, we just have to go to uh, to follow that path. So if I'm here, in my case, this is different for everybody. But in my case, I have NVE script, and I'm going to activate NV. Okay, a typo script. Activate. Okay, and we can see that the environment is activated when you have the NV on here. Okay, so actually we did that step so to activate the the environment. You um in my case I'm doing that way. If it is a Mac, I believe it's NV and besides here we have uh, bin instead of script and if you are using the windows command you don't need to use source okay so now let's install django and django is being installed okay so django is installed now, but uh, since we are using the Django REST framework and we want to integrate it with React, we are also going to install the Django REST framework and the Django course headers. It's going to be necessary to integrate it with React. And let's install. Okay, so this is installed now. The next step is to start the project. So start the project we do Django admin start project and we are going to name it backend. Okay as we can see we have created the backend here. So now let's see the the backend and we just have to wish to start a new app so it's going to be python manage.pi start tab and we are going to name it to do and as you can see here we have like the backend with the this main folder with the settings.pi and this is the new app that we create, also the PI files. Okay, now we have the backend. We just have to install the React app. So for this, let's go to the root folder, to the to-do app. And for this, it's very straightforward to create. We are going to use um, uh, the vid to create the React app. So you just use to use that command line. This is the name of the folder that we're going to create. And this is to say that you want to create an app on React. Okay, the app was created. Now you just 
need to cd to the front end here and uh, let's install npm and while well, install as you can see we have like the typical react folder where you have the source the main the app but you are going to see that better in VS Studio Code okay now that the npm is installed I'm going to see the the previous folder to the root folder yes yeah, so we can finally open Visual Studio Codes and to open you just uh, use this in the terminal called and dot pop and all as you can see we have here our main folder for the React app and here we have the backend in Python. Now we are I prefer to work in the terminal on Visual Studio Coder uh, after after doing the first install. So far now let's open a new terminal and we can open like more three because here is uh, I like a terminal to run the Django server, one to run the React server, and the other two to uh, use one for Django and one for React. Okay, so let's start the Django server. CD to backend here. And let's do Python manage.pi run server. We have migration on apply, but it's working. So as we can see, we have the Django server running on port 8000, which is that one. And uh, here I will rename this RS for Red Server. We're going to CD to the front end and we do npm run dev. And we have our React server running okay, let's go this is and we don't need that more. Okay, so we have one server for Django, which is working successfully. And one for React Vite, which is also uh, working fine. Okay, now we have the main apps, uh, the Django and the um, React running. So to finish, the we just have to do some modifications in the settings. And this is why we install the course headers because we need to allow for the course origins. We need to tell Django that it can communicate with um, this port on React because what are we going to do? We are going to create all our backend information on the Django server and uh, uh, that information that in the database is going to be retrieved in uh, the React. So. For this, we have to state that you want the course headers. We're just saying to Django to allow from this board. And also, we can also not forget Okay, you can also not forget to install the race trace framework and the course headers in uh, our settings, install apps. And here is going to be the to do that we can see here that it's 
apps actually your name is to do it's not mine you just have to change this or doodle and there is only one more thing to integrate the first headers is actually to add the deadline here could be anywhere here but we can use there and okay after now we have the the Django app that is running and also the React app which is running. So the things that uh, this is the main setup that we do for all the Django and React projects. And what we are going to do, we are going to create some uh, models here. After this, we are going to create serializer that are going to go to views and uh, these views going to are going to um, be triggered in the where else and it all where else we are going to retrieve that information here in uh, some components or even in the app.gsx actually we do a fetch method to fetch the data on the back end and it's going to be used here but yes, that's it for how to start a Django React app. This is uh, uh, a start, uh, just a start that I'm going to do for a project that I'm going to do a to do app, but I'm going to do that in another video. But I'm going to make sure to link that video on the description. And that's it, guys. This is how we integrate on the create a Django and direct tab and I'll integrate them together. If you want to see more, I'm going to have to create a, a completely new React and uh, Django app on another video.